certainly a blessing for me just to be back around the UMass family and uh, to let them know that you know I'm fully supportive. I just try to encourage and inspire and uh, you know there's there's not a whole lot you can say when a team is on the brink of going into uh, a, a tournament that they haven't already heard but they haven't heard it from you so that was my take on it. I could be redundant and say a lot of the things that the coaches have said, that the media has said, that their parents have said, that the community has said, but it's a little different if it comes from, you know, one of their own who made it and who's a Hall of Famer. So, uh, I, you know, I said the same things, but I just kind of put my personal touch on it. it it's kind of a bitter pill when I think about uh, my teams at UMass, my sophomore year and my junior year, you know, we were 18 and eight and 23 and two. And, uh, and we never got a bid. So, uh, so the N NIT was more of a consolation. And you know, you go in as the last seed and play against the first seed. And uh, so, you know, with, with uh, North Carolina knocking us off and Marquette knocking us off, uh, no, I don't look at this situation <laughs> as being comparable at all. You know, I think uh, with, with uh, Patino and Skinner and the team uh, going to the NCAA tournament, you know, for the first time since Trigger Burke was there, uh, it's more of a, a reminiscent of that or, or Marcus Camby's days uh, when the team made the Final Four with, uh, with John Calipari. So, so this team is more in that mold and, um, you know, that's, the bar is high, you know, and they have performed. Uh, they've done well. They've had a, a top 15 ranking, top 13, 12 ranking uh, at different times during, during the course of the year and now as a succeed. Um, the expectation is that, you know, they can advance. And uh, their goal is not just to advance, their, their goal is to win it all, but you got to do it one game at a time, one quarter at a time, one minute at a time.